Hi guys, it's Bita from Honest and Tasty. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the best burgers ever of your life. I promise you, these are phenomenal. If you've ever heard of O Cheval or Small Cheval in Chicago, they make the best burgers in the world, bar none. I'm not kidding, I'm not. You have to make this burger and see for yourself, it is delightful. It is simply wonderful. So let's get to it and there is a secret ingredient I'm gonna show you soon. So I'm just making the Dijonese right now. It's really simple. It's gonna go straight on the bun. It's the only sauce in the bun. It really, you don't need anything else but this. And then the juices from the meat. Sir Kensington's mayo and mustard. It's Dijon mustard. You just mix them together. A little more mustard than, no, no, a little more mayo than mustard and they're really nice and natural products. I love them. I'm not being sponsored by them. I just really love them. And this is what they use at Haut Cheval and Small Cheval. Set that aside once you mix it together. Let's get to the beef. I've got some 85% lean beef. I like to have some of that fat in there. So that's why there's 15% fat in there as opposed to anything less than that. So I'm taking and it's organic beef. I know we're having burgers, and you can say it's not healthy, but we're doing it as healthy as possible. And burgers are healthy, whatever. That's good enough. Just fits right in your palm. Smash it down. Very thin, that's the secret. You wanna get it really thin, because when you cook the beef, it will naturally puff up a little bit, not puff up, but become a little thicker and then start forming towards the center of the patty. So you do want to make it as thin as possible. And that gives us a lot of surface area for flavor. Now we've got that. Don't have to be perfect. Just has to taste good. I have two patties per cheeseburger. So once we have those formed, I'm just gonna add some salt and then we're gonna Fry them up. I've got a very hot cast iron pan. I've added a little bit of sunflower seed oil to it, which is a high smoke point, so you're not gonna burn your oil, because you do want it to get really hot to get a nice char on the beef. The secret ingredient, beef tallow. I'm gonna add a little bit of that, it's beef fat. And it lets you give so much more flavor to the beef patty than you would have had otherwise. So. Flavor equals good. Now that that's hot and ready to go for us, we're just gonna put our patties down. That's what you wanna hear. Let it go for about a minute on each side. Top them with some cheese. Good old American cheese. That's the best for a good burger. Not cheddar, not anything else. American. Turn that heat off. Take the burgers off. And then I've got brioche buns. You're gonna take them and just place them right into that oil just for a little bit. More flavor. That's good. Beautiful. That Dijonese we made is going right on the bun. Put a good amount on, on both sides. And then I've chopped up some red onion and some pickle. Very thinly sliced pickle, very finely chopped red onion. That's all you're gonna want on the burger, trust me. It is fantastic. Put the burgers down, the patties on top of the bun. So much juice. So much juice in this. A little bit of that pickle and onion. Close that baby. And then I mean, look at that. This is just so juicy and it smells amazing. This is 
the perfect burger and you can make it at home. You don't have to go all the way to Chicago. If you're at home and you don't know what you want to make for dinner tonight, you know what you need to make. It's this burger. Go to honestandtasty.com, get the recipe, subscribe to my channel, comment, and thumbs up the video. Like it, please. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Mayo. These are circa... That's for next week, um, I think.